got a super cool this deck was so powerful hello viewers um full that ran three copies of banned and limited and semi-limited <laughs> cards and everything in case you're wondering um Thing. three we... monster reborns still beat him uh in case you're wondering uh Fion is <laughs> is salty over um what happened last week we left off where he had declined to make a change to the list <laughs> so what i did I post it to the rest of my Discord, Jaden, Roses, and Kai, who Kai thus far has only showed up once for commentary. Um, but I I asked I gave them like over twenty four hours, including like direct messages, um, and posting it in my Discord that like to propose changes to the ban list. I put it to the community. Yeah. And no one did it. Um it was so basically I decided to take the initiative on the change and I banned Judgment Dragon. Um and basically I will It was a painful choice, but he did it. Oh, it wasn't painful for me. Seto Kaiba was right. I will proceed to kill another archetype <laughs> every time that the community fails to make an adequate change. <laughs> mm. oh. uh. let's see all right i will what do i want to do light sworn wants to go first because they want to mill a bunch of stuff so my deck i think goes does well going first or second uh that is not bad. Not great, but... Oh. Um, okay, this hand is looking fairly sus. Um, I will pass turn. Hmm. All right, all right. I will summon my Janie. And after the that, I will Gold Sark. I'm going to view my deck, see what I I got. Let's see what I got. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, banish. Um, this guy. Oh, okay. Good old Necro Gardener. Yep. Yep. So I need any, if you have, if you. You try to make an attack. And I think I will attack with my Jamie. All right. Uh, I lose. 
lose 1800. And during my end phase, I will, of course, mill some cards. Oh, you love uh, to see it. You love to see those mills. Well, I mean, I do. Yep. <laughs> and, and I will end my... All right. Stand by main. Oh wait, wait. Act actually, since since I used since I used my eff effect effect. Um. Okay. Well, uh, that means I can't activate my face down card. Um, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna need it. Um, I activate. Uh, mind control to take control of your Jane, Light Sworn Paladin. Okay. Now, he cannot declare an attack or be tributed um, during this turn. Okay. And uh, if it gets to the end phase and I don't do something else, I have to give him back. Uh, so, on the on the card, um, there should be a move option. Um, so you could just pick any of my like main monster zones. Send it over. All right. Um, then <laughs> this this is so sus. Um, I will normal summon X Saber Palomero. And then I will banish a spell card from okay. my graveyard uh, to special summon spell striker. And then I will synchro cool. for eight. Cool. One, three, and four is eight. Um, I feel like the best one right now is Stardust Dragon. Uh, huh? Go to battle and attack. No, you won't. 25. Why not? I will negate that attack. What? Uh, what? With what? I necro guard. Uh, that cannot activate from the banished nah. zone. Great, an attack. It has to be in the graveyard to negate the attack. No, oh, no, no! And banish this card from your graveyard. Then I can negate the You did not the banish it from your graveyard. You banished it from the deck. Next attack. It has to go to your graveyard and be there to activate the effect. It cannot activate from the banished zone. Oh. So. Um. Okay. Uh, now, once you get it not this upcoming turn but in two turns if you get it in your graveyard then it can negate an attack um i'll go to main phase two i will set one and pass turn uh, i'll go ahead and mark that this is one out of two Gold Sark. All right, then. Solar Recharge, and also this. Uh, discard. 
guard this guy. <sighs> oh, I like to see those mills. Hmm. Whatever. Okay. Um, uh, during the end phase, I will activate Mystical Space Typhoon to get rid of this Royal Decree. All right. Stand by main. Uh, go to battle and try for another twenty five. Okay. Um, I would have been owned if that were uh, deep prison. Um, all right. Uh, this turn, you do get your Necro Gardener to your hand in uh, standby phase. Cool. Mm hmm. Okay, giant nade, I guess. All right. And I think I'll pass. All right. Stand by main. Okay. I will normal summon Emmer's Blade. Um, go to battle. Uh, Stardust into the set. Then I will try for 13 direct. Uh, nope, I banish it. Okay. 
well, that attack does not go through. Um, but in main phase two, I will set one, two, three cards, and pass turn. There we go. Okay. Um, drop the turn. Stand by main. All right. Um, I'm going to load up the aggro. Um, banish Mystical Space Typhoon. Spell Striker, Banish Spell Striker for Gigantes. And I should, uh, I'll send Stardust into the set. Um, actually, what I will do then is activate... Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, well, sorry, go ahead. Back in Hold on. Light. Being white. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And discard my entire hand. And then that allows you to get any two lights from your grave to your hand. Which would be Raiko and Jane, because the wolves don't do anything from hand. Mm hmm. Uh, hold on. Um, I will activate this to get the this guy on the field. Oh, you you're gonna revive one of the and, wolves. And okay. then I will get back my Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Sadly I don't have anything to negate yeah. Call of the Haunted, so I um uh, now this will cause a replay on the attack um, since the number of monsters on your side of the field changed. Um, so I will redeclare with Stardust into uh, Wolf. Ouch. Um, I will send Gigantes into the set monster. Okay. And then I'm going to stop your advance by... Uh, ...the top of my oh, deck Plague to Spreader special summon it. Plague spell speed one effect. It cannot be used on my turn. So you have to wait until your main phase one, or main phase two of next turn to use it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this will be nineteen hundred direct between the two of these. 
Yeah. Uh, but I mean that did that did keep me off of lethal. So uh, we'll see if your next draw turns everything around. Uh, I will see. Trooper. Three. Uh, okay. Um, I am actually on normal summon. Uh, if you will go ahead and please put those back. Uh, please shuffle those three back into the deck because I am going to activate I... Saber Hole, which negates the summon. Which also stops the draw effect because in the summon negation window it's not on the field so back to my hand uh no he goes to the graveyard <sighs> yep. uh, all right fine uh, okay um now I need to Oh, do, rematch. Uh Well, this this is going into siding for game 2. Uh This is this is the difference like so some people will host like a single with siding and then like you have to offer a rematch at the end of each game. Uh, if you host it as like a best two out of three match, it automatically takes you into the stuff. So, um, given what you're on, um, I feel like I actually do need to side stuff because uh, some of those cards were problematic. I cited nine cards. I think that's enough for now. Hopefully I get a better hand this time. I basically had nothing uh, if, uh, like, I had to use your monster to synchro there. That was, that was pretty scuffed, but... Uh. Well, I don't know how to use this deck anyway, so. Alright, I guess I'll go first. Okay.
the sand. I don't know about the sand. Hmm. I'll set this one. Oh yeah, I forgot to draw. Yeah. I'll activate this card. Oh, some more opening as last time. To see what all I can get. I mean, any of the 34 cards that are left mm -hmm. in your deck. Just, uh, what will you, uh, mm -hmm. suspect is most useful? Um, I have no idea. Oh, especially considering last time we only saw one X Saber monster, and this is supposed to be an X Saber deck. I guess. Uh. Hmm. Celestia. There. <laughs> oh, it's got a. It's a. Geyseris. Oh, man. And then I think what I'll do is summon this guy. And I think that will be that. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't mill on his own. All right. Uh... No, he... he does not. Stand by main. Um... Mm. I activate... Mm -hmm. brain control to uh, take control of Garroth. Okay. And now he uh, brain control does allow me to attack with the monster. Um... Cool. So uh just, uh, it's still that move command, just any of the main monster zones over here. Uh, whoops. Whoa. Uh, hang on. Hold on. Yeah. Trying on. to get this guy. Yeah. I sent it back. <laughs> du Dueling Book hey. did a weird thing. Thank uh, you. <laughs> that's not what it was supposed to do. Um, now this goes to grave, um, 
Next, I will normal summon Xsaber Airbellum. Um, I'll go to battle. And I will attack with Airbellum. Try for 16. All right. All right, and then uh, for Airbellum's effect, I will roll a die. And I will discard this card out of your hand. Cool. The one close to your deck. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, main two. I will synchro seven. I am going to activate this. Oh, damn it. I'll discard my hand. Yeah. Then then put some... That lets you get Garoth and... Uh... I mean, the funny thing is, you can just add, like, Garoth and Lila. Because, uh, uh, fun fact about Beckoning Light, uh, you can add back the cards that you discard um, within constraints of the number. So, like, if you pitch, like, two, you can get one card that was, like, in your graveyard already, um, and one that of the two that you discarded or like it's a, it's a funny card um to repeat that please oh i was saying um beckoning the light allows you to add back um if you discarded light monsters for its cost you can add like some of those back as long as it's within the limit so, like, since you discarded two here, if you want, you could add back, like, both of the monsters that you discarded or, like, one that was already there and one that was in your hand that you discarded or, you know, like, two that were in there before you activated it. It's it's a really funny card, the way that it resolves. Yeah. All right. Um, well, uh, the monster with which the monster that I'll make um, is X Saber Urbellum. Uh, and then I will set one card and pass it back. Oh, you're getting a different one? Okay. Um, honestly, oh. I mean, you're gonna you're mm. gonna get Celestia like mm. in two turns yes. anyway. So, like, do you want like two? Hold on a minute. Tribute monsters or. Uh. Oh yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna I get my. Uh, that's only been the first turn on that, so that needs you'll get it next turn. This oh, is turn okay. one attitude. Uh... Okay.
Then I will I will do this. I am going to destroy that card, that spell card that you have. Uh, that's unfortunate. It was my body as a shield. Uh, that goes to face up defense. Mm hmm. Yep. Then I'm going to send some cards to the GY. Mm. Uh, that was that was like pretty mid range mills. Like de milling decree is not great. Milling honest is you know it counts for chaos counts. Uh, milling Raiko is really good. Oh, you drew a card. <laughs> What's that? Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Uh, stand by main. Um. Okay. I will start off by normal summoning X Saber Ragigora, which allows me to add uh, Air Bellum back to my hand. Cool think maybe not well, cool for you i guess i i like it pretty well um uh then i'll go okay. to combat and i'll try and kill lila no you won't oh jesus well my board's got about to be broken uh is blessed Main two. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to take like 23 direct next turn because you're going to blow up my board. Um, what are. I didn't end turn yet. <laughs> Fion, you're getting ahead of me. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, but that's all right. Okay. All right. I am going to attack. I uh, cannot shift to attack this turn. I'm going to. turn yeah lila has to like stay in defense an entire turn after using her effect yeah <laughs> so uh, and yeah, that it's it's, pa it's powerful but it, it suffers from uh gx card design oh no seriously i used her last turn now my tard. Yeah, it's not now, your end phase. She cannot shift until the I end have another phase of this turn. And since that's a like main phase activate you... like mechanic. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, so it says it this card's battle position cannot be changed until the end of your next turn. You used it last turn. Oh. So it cannot change until, like, the end of this turn, but changing a monster's battle position oh, is a, a main phase one mechanic, so. Um, but. Oh, whatever. Yeah. I'll tribute summon. Yeah, that nukes my board. Unfortunate. Uh. Mm hmm. I'm Problem. gonna mill some cards. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. I love to see those mills. Uh 
That means I don't have to worry about Call of the um, Haunted, which is at one. MST is at one. Got rid of your other gold star. Oh, and... Uh... Oh, this is going to hurt. This is... This is uh, 4150. That's a lot of damage. What are you? Oh, you. Uh, okay. You, sorry, you can't normal summon twice in the same turn. Yeah. Uh, you normal summon Celestia. You can't summon Garoth this uh, turn. Oh yes, I'm getting ahead of myself. So Once again. Uh. Yes, that's. So Can you get the, these whatever cards card back you drew to... needs to go back into your deck, and then the mill cards need to go back. On the plus side, well, oh wait, no, 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 never mind. Uh, uh, Call of the Haunted and uh, uh, Call of the Haunted still goes. That was Mills from Celestia. So that still okay. goes from your your gra from your deck to your graveyard, and then one card out of your hand will go to the top. Okay, okay hold on, hold on. Let me think about this for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's everything. Uh, Call of the Haunted needs to go from your deck to your graveyard. Because that was okay. milled off of Celestia's effect. Okay. Um, and now, since it's shuffled, it's a fixed game state. So everything's good again. I'm about to so take then... a lot of damage of 2,300. <laughs> Unless you've got a special summon. Oh, Discard God. this dude. Yeah. Look, I'm figuring this out. Yeah. Let's draw two and then. We'll see if these mills are good or bad. Then mill two. Love to see. Wait, isn't Dark Hole banned? <laughs> oh my god, Dark Hole is banned. Come on. <laughs> it's I sent you the list. <laughs> Vortex is at three, though. Like. My deck. And milled it. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's, you know, it doesn't affect the game because it was milled. But, yeah, Vortex is at three. So that's what people. Oh, my God. You got it. You got the searcher, too. So it, it mills three and then searches. Good Lord. This is all the RNG manipulation. Mm hmm. Ryko's good to mill. Lila's good to mill. Uh, that's kind of mid-range mill. Uh, so now I don't have to worry about Torrential. Question is, what do you add? Okay. What What are you going to add? So what's here? good to mill about Ryko and... Well, Raikou and Lila, typically you want to mill Light Sworns, but you do still need to add a level 4 or lower Light Sworn monster from deck to hand. Like, generally, you want to mill Light Sworn monsters, um, yeah. whereas, like, milling uh, one of Spell and Traps is typically not so good. Um, milling stuff like Judgment Dragon... Which is banned this format. Uh, oh, I see. Chaos sor milling chaos sorcerers pretty bad. Um, but hmm. 
me think. Uh, Milling Wolf is excellent, of course, because he just summons himself. Um, Milling Honest is like mid-range because, you know, ideally you'd want to use that from your hand in the battle phase, but uh, in in practice, like, though, you can you just use it as Spanish material for... Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah, Light Sworn decks, they run really fast. Um, so they tend to either kill you quickly. Um, they do have an exceptionally weak grind game, though, so if you can stall them out, you're probably going to win. And then I... All right, so oh, I chose me. that card for my hand. Okay. All right. Then I'll... Um... Oh, uh... No, I need to lose the life points. There we go. Okay. And just like that, life total's about even, and... Uh, one to two card difference. Alright. Stand by main. All right, this is going to look a little sus. Um, huh. Now I have a tough choice to make. Uh... I will, huh. God, this is tough. Um, I will banish Ragi Gora to special summon Gigantes. Mm -hmm. Then I will normal summon the Airbellum that Ragi Gora added back to Synchro for seven. Um, Urbellum cannot get over your monster, so I have to summon Black Rose, um, and opt not to use its effect. I will try and kill Celestia. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. 
I have done a mere 100 life points of damage. Uh, main two. I will set a back row. And that's my entire turn. Summoning Black Rose without using its effect feels weird. Mm. But then again, I also didn't use Gigantus for his back row nuke effect. Just this synchro material. So. Kind of a weird turn all around. I just didn't, I didn't feel like I could survive leaving Celestia on the field. Mm. What does surprise me is that, like, this deck has Plague Spreader Zombie, but no Synchros. Because typically when people ran it, it was so that they could, uh... Uh... I mean, there are, there are a number of things you could summon with it, like... There's Brian Ack. Um, Goyo was still at one. Uh, there were a couple Plague Spreader Zombie and other zombie exclusive synchros. Um, I think Doom Kaiser Dragon was one. Uh, some people ran Iron Chain if, as. Do you tell me how Honest works real quickly? Okay, so Honest is a damage step effect. So, like, um, uh, I, let's see. Does it have to be its effect to take place? Um, so basically what will happen is, like, if one of your light monsters battles in the damage step, uh, you can declare Honest discarding it from your hand to activate its effect, which would then cause um, your monster to gain attack equal to the monster it's battling. So, for example, if you have an Honest in hand, and you oh, say... But my question is, does it have to be on the field? Uh, no, it activates from the hand. Does it have to be on the field first? No, it activates from the hand. Oh. So. Well. Yeah. All right. Then I know exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to Ulila. Um, I'm going to discard another. Yeah. Yeah. Ulila. Okay. You special summon. Are you ready for a... me to ruin your day? Feel some pain. Yes, I am. Okay, what's your sure. what's your summon target for Illumina? Hmm. Hmm. Because that, well... that declaration occurs. Um, let me think. Like Let me... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like you, on the activation, you pitch and declare target, and then I have a chance to respond. Okay, I suppose what I'll do is 
special summon my Lila. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use response, her effect. Wait, wait, wait. I have a response to Lumina's activation, which prevents the summon. Okay. I chain DD Crow, banishing the Lila from your graveyard. So basically, Lumina pitches a card for no resolution. Hmm. I guess I'll just destroy your Black Rose. Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's talk about this. But uh, why? I I mean, did Black Rose really, really do like all that much harm here? It was just a hundred life points damage. Ah, I want Black Rose dead. Uh, okay, all right. Then I'll take a thousand from the from the battle. And I. All right. Oh yeah. Oh god, that sucks. And I all. Yeah, you mill three. Uh, this is looking really, really bad for me. Um. Okay. Uh. I drew no monsters. Hmm. Have a can, can Lumina discard itself? Uh, it, any card from the hand works. Um, if the card you discard for it is a light, oh, star, hit a hand. Yeah. Uh, it can't discard itself. It discards oh, any card in, in your field. hand from no discarding does not occur from the field. Discarding only happens from the hand. Okay. 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 Hmm. Okay. I've got one shot at this, so I've got to be careful.
Okay, wait. I think we have. I think I have a very, very crafty I'm going to discard to the GY in order to get another Lumina into the field. Okay. Who herself is going to special summon? She cannot. Um, the is going to cannot special summon because there are no more cards in your hand to discard for cost. Oh yes, yes, yes. So. Oh, okay. The but I will take 2,000 damage. And that's pointless. And I'll send that to the GY and then... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Minute. I guess... So I'll get... Oh, uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. That does a lot more yep, damage. because he was all... Yeah, he was already in Grave. Already in my GY. And... Okay, okay. The steel's 31 total. And then... Right. Um, you can place... Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah. Plague Spreader um... unfortunately conflicts with Lumina for cost. So, that's as far as this combo can go. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. But, uh, you do take a lot of damage. Uh, okay. Right. I'm just trying to think, like... I mean, Lumina can't summon Celestia, so it's like between Wolf. Uh, Wait, no, 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 no. Garoth, Lila. Um, is it? Is yeah. Um. Okay. So the way that this interaction, and I'm going to attack him. So, I will take 2850. The way that this interaction works is that first, uh, Lumina will mill three in the end phase, um, and then Garoth will mill two. No. And then if Garoth happens to mill... No, he mills six. No. Mills sick because no, it says mills, each time. Each time a card. Each, wait, wait, well, hold on. When it says cards and like it. Hold on, don't interrupt. Wrong, but I'm I'm saying my understand. Hold on, hold on, hold. No. I, please don't inter okay. interrupt. Okay. Interrupt, please. It says each time a card. Wait, a card. So. That's her effectiveness of a card, right? If, basically, it counts activations, not quantity of cards sent, which is what the S in parentheses is meant to indicate under problem solving card okay. text. So if, for example, okay. you had um, like Lumina, Lila, and um, like an... Like, if you had three different Light Sworns that were milling three different times, yes, you would mill six. 
Um, but there, okay. Now, since he milled one, you get to draw one for <laughs> uh, Akras being milled. Okay. So, he does draw you mm -hmm. a card. Um, okay, cool. Um, and then, during your end phase... This is phase. your end phase. Hard during my end phase, right? Yeah. And I... Can you what? Can't set a card. No, that happens in can't... Many phases. Yeah. So. Okay. But basically, I need the heart of the cards right now. Otherwise, uh... Otherwise, we're going to game three. All right. See what happens. All right. Uh... I... Does it? I don't know that that does it. Um, damn, this is rough. Uh, crap. If you've got it, you've got it. Um, I set one and uh, pray. <laughs> Don't kill me here. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I will set this car. Um, I We'll discard this card right here to the GY. Uh, I'm going to add Royal Decree. Uh, that cannot activate the turn it is set. Oh, right. Yeah. Activated on my turn, though. Um, wait, are you, are you... Oh, you didn't have material. But... Okay... What are you getting? Mm. If it's Lila, you'll mill yourself out if I can survive the attacks. Um, let's see. Wolf doesn't mill. Um, Oh, you're going to use Decree to summon Plague Spreader? Or another Lumina? Not quite. Not quite. I can't. Okay, so you discarded, you summon Lumina, and then the Decree can either be set, used for the second Lumina, or it can be... Uh, used for um, Plague Spreader. So three different uses for Decree. Dueling book did a bad thing. Yeah. Is this what karma feels like? I banned Judgment Dragon and now Light Sworn is beating my ass. Not 
not sure. <laughs> but what I've got to do is is absolutely certain tricky you can possibly do. So I can't use Royal Decree on my turn. No, you'd have to wait until my turn. Okay. But I don't mm. know why you're worried, because if this were Torrential or Mirror Force, I definitely would have used it already. Mm. Well, you know... I'm just, I'm just, a, I, uh, I'm gonna discard other, you get, um, Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Oh, you're going to bounce Honest back to your... Wait, no, that can't be resurrected by Lumina. Lumina can't resurrect Honest. It, it has to resurrect a Light Sworn, specifically. Oh. Yeah. That would be a cracked play because it absolutely would kill oh, okay, me. Okay. 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 Uh, thankfully. But I mean. Hmm. Um. The question is, like, do I have a monster with, like, 2,000 defense face down? If I do, Wolf clears it. The question if I, is... If I don't, Lila might be better to clear my back row first. So... Although Jane... Jane yes, clears, that's very correct. Jane clears 2k defenders as well, because he... Boosts himself to 2100. You know what? I'm just going to have to take a chance. Uh... And I will attack your face down. All right. Uh, With Jane. Please, please go into battle phase so we can uh, resolve this properly. It's going to be... This is going to be interesting. Um, Actually, you know what? I have nothing in my graveyard that can stop these attacks, and... You probably already figured out that the set card is was just bait, so it's all down to my monster. Uh, 
So I, I would have totally slammed torrential by now. Um, but. And then that face down to the graveyard with Janie. Okay, so Jane attacks now. Or this Jane is uh, X Saber Emmer's Blade, which, unlike many other floaters, allows me to summon monsters in defense. Uh, so I will use it to get another Emmer's Blade. So I survived Jane's attack. And I will destroy that with Lumina. All right. Lumina kills this Emmer's Blade. Uh, and I will use it to... Summon... Emmer's Blade. Lumina kills that one. All right, and this Emmer's Blade will summon uh, has to be level four or lower. Um, <laughs> so stupid. Um, I summon Poshul in defense. Even if you were not about to mill yourself out and lose that way, um, I have, if I had 50 left life points, this would kill me. <laughs> but it can't be killed in battle. And none of your monsters do piercing. I am the luckiest son of a bitch right now. I was so dead. I was so dead, but in the end phase, like you mill all five cards. If any of those are light sworns, um, uh, Garroth forces you to draw, which if it does that on the second mill, then you lose on your turn. Um, however, if, um, you don't, I end my turn. Like, all right, so I'll mill three. Yeah. One, Wait, what are you doing? That's that goes to your graveyard. Yeah, no three. So do I have to activate the effect of every single Lumina and Yes, and they, are Jane? Not, they are not optional. Which means they kill you. Oh, well. Okay, now because of that, uh, on the first... Yeah. Um, basically, you lose on your own turn due to um, Geralt's effect forcing you to draw which by game mechanics means I get an alt win condition <laughs> of deck out but even if that hadn't happened uh, yeah it was it was Emmer's Blade and Poshul versus the world here I could not have top decked better um, even, uh, yeah, Gigantes wouldn't do it. Um, so now, uh, would you like the game three? 
because this was super close. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. We will do this. So, like say, light swarms, very powerful. Um, they they kill fast and they lose fast. Um, like sense, sense I had you, remembered you'd banned judgment dragon. Yeah, since you lost, um, uh, I'll just go ahead and pick paper. That way, if you want to go first or second, that's. That's your choice. <sighs> what you're saying is... So what you're saying is being able to keep my judgment dragons, I probably would have beaten you. Oh yeah, no question, because, you know, my stuff was resisting battle, not destruction by card effect. Now, my, uh, my ban last time yeah. really, really does uh, nerf Light Sworn. Um, for its power ceiling. Um, but I... Chaos Chaos Orc is the more consistent boss monster. Um, but... It's, uh... Looking at this hand, I, I wish I would have gone first instead. Are you going to draw for turn? Yes. Okay. I'll set that. So, question, if you are attacked, does that count as your monster attacking someone's monster? Um, for the purposes like, of Jared, if you attacked it. Um, so, Jane boosts when it attacks, not when it is attacked. Um, uh... Honest works regardless of whether you're attacking someone's monster or they're attacking your light monster. Um, so. so I will set the, this guy. Oh, wait. I can't a monster in face in face up defense position, right? No, not in face up. It it either has to be set or uh normal uh, summon in face up attack. Okay. Right. Hmm. Man, that game two was so close. <laughs> uh, I am so like I, I'm really lucky that like you didn't read Discord because I posted that ends my turn. I posted like last um 
last week that I had banned Judgment Dragon. Uh, okay. Uh, stand by main. Um, I will normal summon X Saber or Airbellum. I'll go to battle phase. And I will try to attack your face down. Okay. Okay. So I take... And I'm also going to activate this. I take... 200. Hmm. Actually, you know what? No, I'll, uh, I'll wait. But... We'll set this and pass turn. Man, my my hand has been extremely bad starting out every game. Like, my hands were not nearly this bad when I was testing this deck. <laughs> so. All right, I will destroy your ex saber. Attacking with Jane. Yep, and I am also gonna flip arc to attack position. Okay, so that's twenty. Then I attack Jane. twenty-one versus sixteen. So first of all, I take five hundred. From the battle between Jane and Arabellum. Uh, and then I take 12 direct. Um, mm -hmm. And then in the end phase, they mill four. Oh, damn. Ooh, nice. This just got a lot harder for me. Out time. Uh... That, yeah. Those were some really good mills. Well, like, really, really I top have it anyway, oh, that are... So. Uh. Always have to that. I mean, milling, milling Solemn Judgment when you have Decree up is actually really good. So. That's that's not a card you want to draw when you have decree on the field. Mm -hmm. I can also get rid of decree in my own terms, right? Uh, no, not unless you have something to destroy it. So you'd have to you'd have to like use MST on your own decree or heavy storm or trunade or something. It doesn't just go away. That's why mm. generally people that run decree um, mm. are running it in a deck that doesn't run other traps. So, 
like a lot of people um would run it against would run it specifically for like eldritch because uh, that deck ran a lot of traps um people would run it against trap tricks The, well, that was the budget. Alright, anyways, that would those. be that. The uh... oh, God. Uh... yeah, this is not winnable. <laughs> it's apparent this early, so my hand is uh X Saber Palmero Spell Striker X Saber mm -hmm. Arabellum and I drew mm. Summoner Monk when I already had Whoa. two Arabellums. Summoner Monk is in this deck to discard a spell. By the way, Man, I how... I set my body as a shield which wouldn't allow for summoner monk anyway um but basically what happens and of course uh you know just to add insult to injury um i got this going second when you opened your one of fucking decree but how this combo works is that summoner monk pitches a spell which would be like my body as a shield um which summons Rescue Cat. Uh, Rescue Cat sends itself from uh, Field to the Grave, gets you two Airbellums, and then, like, you... You, uh... can potentially do a couple of attacks, um... But since you since you still have um, Summoner Monk on the field, it allows you a really fast uh, Synchro 7. The other Airbellum will, like, die in the end phase unless you have something else. But, yeah, my hands were atrocious all three games. <laughs> like, I never, I never got... <laughs> like, game two. Okay, I cited in... Uh, triple Prohibition, Triple Burden of the Mighty. Did not see any of them, and they would have made a massive difference. Um, I did cite in Triple DD Crow, and I saw one of them, and granted, you know, you probably only want to see one or two, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, your hand was really cracked and so are your mills that game and you know on paper oh thank you on paper like x saber is like on paper x saber would be favored in this matchup with light swarms without judgment dragon um but apparently karma came back to me <laughs> for killing an archetype and I nearly lost the match ah. to Light Scorns without Judgment Dragon. Uh, which, you know, <laughs> I, if that happened, I probably would have had to, like, retire from Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and YouTube and everything else. But, uh... <laughs> um, now, this deck was running uh, three Spell Strikers. Um, and at the hands of... At the hands at of the hands of a complete noob too, <laughs> a complete noob too. Yeah, yeah. There, I would definitely Oof. be outed as a fake gamer. Although I think I, I think that kind of happened already this match. Um, but no, this this was I. Although, I, was, I, I mean, was elated at how close this match. I studied was. really hard though. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, this, this. You'll notice I do actually try to put together some powerful decks, even if I don't. Oh yeah, like uh, light necessarily. Sworn. Light Sworn was easily tier two th at this point. Um, uh, Machina Gadgets was like tier one point five, I think, like tier two, tier one, somewhere in there. Um. I, I personally believe that the Machina cards are stronger. That's than... actually a deck I'd like to try again. Well, uh, so here's here's what I've been considering about WC11. Um, I know. No, I have to be a little bit. But... Yeah. Um, for WC11, what I'm going to do is yeah. because Jaden has been, he's been super busy, and honestly, he doesn't seem that enthusiastic about returning. And I might be misreading that. Like, he might actually miss this, but uh, what I'm going to do is once we're done with WC10, I'm going to try and uh, talk to both of you at the same time and see, like, who wants to cover WC11 more. Okay. Because Jaden's had a lot going on in real life, and, mm. of course, like... sometimes sometimes he like you know i don't i don't know that like he's really having all that much fun um but uh so i'll i'll, ha I'll just have to see like which one of you wants to do uh wants to do the wc11 matches um my other my other thing to bring up is uh would you like to make a change to the ban list or let that fall to the fates again? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I will just send him to the fates. Okay. Uh, well. See, is as, how we say, green, such as Fiona D. We'll, we'll see if uh, the fates. I think we'll see if the community. Um, has has any. Uh, I have a feeling that if I ask Jaden. Um, because there, there are two cards in here in this deck. Uh he has previously banned prohibition now it never came up so i doubt he would um and uh he has been very tempted to ban gigantes um now it never went off nuking the back row i just used it as synchro material so it's arguable like how much of an impact it had um so I just, it, it's funny because every time I want to say every time I've summoned Gigantes, I've won the match. It's weird. Um, mm. So I, I'm like, I knew we figured out early on that I am really, really good with dark decks and really, really good with earth decks. Um, like, especially with Earth decks, I just get insane draw luck. Mm. And I can cobble together, like, stuff like... Spell Striker was not run historically. I'm pretty sure that even if you had, like, people revisit this format, like, from a historical lens, that they would not be putting Spell Striker in X Sabers. Because there's probably better stuff. But I was running 11 spells, and I'm like... Yes? You know, this seems like a pretty good extender. Like it's just if I get Air Bellum, it's an it's an easy uh it's a uh, an easy Hyunle, which I was never able to summon. He's insane. He's a level six, one tuner plus one or more non tuner X Sabers. When this card is synchro summoned. You can select and destroy up to three spell or trap cards on the field, which functionally might as well just 
be Harpy's Feather Duster. Um, I never got to summon Gotham's, which is the only monster in 5Ds that you can double excel Synchro. Um, because he does, uh, he does not care if the monsters past the first tuner are tuners or non-tuners. So if you have like three um, level, if you have three like level three earth tuners on the field, you can summon Gotham's. <laughs> it's it's insane, or like you know level four tuner and uh -huh. a level five so he he's the only monster like that in uh in 5ds and um some people will say oh that was a printing error um considering they never eroded it some people are convinced that's how konami wanted it but regardless uh as long as your levels add up to nine and one of the monsters is a tuner, you're good to go. Um, I will say this deck, even when it got good hands, felt a little less powerful than Heroes or uh, Black Wings. The problem is I had terrible draw luck with Black Wings as well. So, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if I should be playing X Sabers or Black Wings next format or not. It seems kind of sus, um, but this this was a lot of fun. Um, that was that was way cool. closer than last time, even without Judgment Dragon. Um, the game. <laughs> It's it, you, you've you've learned so much in such a short amount of time. Like, I honestly don't. I know, had to. I honestly don't know how next match is gonna go. Like, I was, I was fairly confident uh, going into this one, but. Good lord. Um, so, I don't know. Um, actually... Well, I have to win it, though. I wouldn't get too worried about it. You know what? Since the Discord didn't... Uh, like, no one in the yeah? Discord... I'm just gonna skip that step. I'm gonna kill another archetype. I'm going to ban Geyseris. Really? Just to make sure Glad Beasts are yeah. truly dead. Really? Yeah. Because they, they have a build, even without Cold Wave, that is mm. surprisingly effective against this meta. And that is uh, Glad Beasts with Defissure. Mm. Uh, because Glad Beasts, while a lot of their great cards, like I think... Uh, I can't remember if it's a quest, like summon or adds a card from grave to hand. Um, or one of them summons one from the grave. One of them adds any glad beast card from grave to hand. Um, so obviously they're not as good. Um, and uh, mm -hmm. there's also like. And there's there's like you can't you can't really run Prisma in in that build, but I've I've seen people make Glad Beasts work with the Fissure because they just keep tagging from the field to the deck, never caring about the grave. Um So whatever you do, do not show up with Glad Beasts with a Geyseris ban and beat my ass next week. <laughs> that would be bring I a will not. screeching halt to my villain arc. 
Uh, mm. But also, I'm I'm banning I'm banning stuff out of decks that like dominated last format with roses, just to keep things fresh. Um, that makes sense. Uh, now I just need to find. Judgment Dragon. And now I need to go to the back. All right. Well, um, I hope you have a good weekend. And I'll uh, see you next time with a different deck. <laughs>